Alright guys, you asked about wanting to know about business stuff, so I'm going to be really honest with what we're doing. And then also, something that I think is important, um, and something that we've been doing for the past like 10 years is like a financial mindset. So, there's 10 things in that, that I'm just going to say, I don't think nobody really says them, or if they do, you know, nobody listens, but um, it's really important. And uh, yeah, I'll just start with that. So the business side of it, um, so I'm sure people are worried about making money and stuff. So I'll tell you, we're six months into our starting all this, and this is um, from nothing really. We built everything, and it's like making like 300 bucks a week. Granted, we started in October, and it's February, well, September, October, and it's February. So, um, but you have to find relationships to start out, and then you're not going to start out with like a forty thousand dollar, you know, whatever you want, salad mix thing right off the bat. You could, I guess, it's possible, but it's going to be pretty hard. You have to have a really good market for that. So that's kind of comes into another thing. There is no guarantee that you're going to do all this stuff and make money. Like, to be honest, nobody cares. Like, people care because they're watching this, but like customers don't care until you bring them value somehow. And that's what you have to figure out. You have to know your marketplace and stuff like that. And I don't, I mean, we don't even know ours perfectly yet. So it's just part of the, the journey and you have to want to do it. That's another thing. Um, yeah, there's no guarantees. I took notes because there's so many things to. As I was reading your guys' comments, I was like, wow, I, that's all right. I'm going to have to really think about it. Um, there's a lot of variables with doing this stuff. Like, you have to grow it. You got to understand the soil. You got to understand your microclimates. You got to understand your people. You got to understand efficient working systems you got to understand food safety uh, if you get to a point you have to understand managing people um, you just have to be aware of that stuff like that's real and it's gonna happen it's not like you can watch YouTube videos and be inspired by something and then like go out and next week sell like two thousand dollars in microgreens you know just because you watch the video that I mean or anything really it's it's really involved um, I've been working with plants and trees and soil half my life I went to uh, community college for horticulture um, I worked seven days a week during college I worked seven days a week after college uh, I worked a lot doing tree work and became a certified arborist all of those things compile up to really just intuition and understanding of plant growth and stuff it, it's a lifelong thing so anyways all right uh, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of editing on this video because it's a nice it's actually a pretty nice day it's, there's a lot of rain coming I want to get some beds built so all right the financial mindset thing to so 10 things and these are things that I thought about last night that we do now you don't have to do them if you don't want to but like asking about the business stuff, I think that there, I think behind that is where you would have to come from thinking about money, doing something like this that doesn't make a lot of money right off the bat. It potentially could not make money. That's just the way it is. It's like, no, like I said before, nobody cares that you're like building soil on your farm and not using a tractor and like all these things that are normally sold for like the whole method of it and selling things and stuff. You know, not that it's bad or anything, but it's just real. So, financial mindset. This is like things people don't talk about because it doesn't sell anything. So this is like strictly realities that are that are there. All right, number one, being frugal. You guys probably realize I wear the same clothes in every video. That's because I wear the same clothes every day. I wash them like once a week. I change my underwear and a t-shirt under my hoodie and my socks. <laughs> I don't really care about wearing nice watches or nice clothes or going out in public and pretending to dress up like something I'm not. 
that's just how I go about it. So other examples, like we have old vehicles. We don't have debt on vehicles. Tori's car is a 97 Camry with 222,000 miles on it. And my truck is a 2008 that I used for landscaping and tree work that paid for itself very fast. And that has 140,000 miles on it. We take care of them really well. At, um, we wash old Ziploc bags. Tori makes produce bags to use at the store. She reuses a lot of stuff. She makes detergent. Um, for a long time, we grew our own food, most of it, as many vegetables as we could. We raised meat chickens, we had bees, we had layers. Um, on that note, Joel Salton, if you guys are familiar with the farming stuff, they grew their own food and made their own clothes for seven years. And like, just think about that. That is real, that's so real. Um, being frugal too, we don't have a TV. We haven't had a TV for 11 years, so we don't have cable. We're not paying for that stuff. There's a lot of things that you are paying for that is that doesn't bring you a whole lot of value for what you want to do. And part of being frugal is being simple and seeing what has meaning to you and what you want to do and where you want to go. And that's just part of it. That's huge. Being frugal is huge. We've been frugal um, pretty, pretty much Well, we moved out together during the last recession so like there's more on that later but number two this is a Joel Southern quote very 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 few people have no control over how they spend their money think about that very few people have no control over how they spend their money that's like almost like no excuses so don't buy stupid stuff and stay practical Number three, we've been doing this uh, for 10 years. We figured out how much it costs us to live per day. That's everything. That's keeping track of how much you spend. If you go out to eat, how much you spend at the grocery store, how much you drove that week, really figuring out a dollar it costs per day. And I think right now it's $101 a day. The Tori knows those numbers, there's more on that later too, but um, that's for both of us. So all your all your debts, if you have student loan debts or like the house, land payment, um, you know, if you go to the gym, have a gym membership, or if you get some like fancy food package thing delivered to your door, all that stuff. Figure it out. How much it costs you to live per day. Uh, number four have realistic financial goals and realistic perspective that then work backwards so like three hundred dollars a week making money now like i'm not making money um but the business is we've been able to with tori working full-time and me doing tree work part-time for the other part of the winter we've been able to pay ourselves back for starting the market garden mostly and we didn't have to take out a loan or anything this is from savings this is all this financial mindset stuff this is where it stems from um, uh, yeah your realistic goals so work backwards from them. so how much you want to make a year how much then you know how much you need to make a week and then you can figure out okay well I need to sell this much a week here this much a week at the farmers market you know this much to restaurants this much to people and start that way um, and along with that uh, they're like killing it you know that that phrase killing it like it's really subjective and context like contextual like we're not killing it we're killing our savings account <laughs> that's real <laughs> but just I mean that's what and then like Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff can be really misleading, even YouTube. So, and you also like finance farmers, like people that are starting farms or urban farms with other people's money. I can almost guarantee you they don't make money. So, that is another thing to think about too. Uh, number five, having an investment mindset. So, spending your money wisely. So, the tunnels, the cooler, the wash station the land um, you know 
sell stuff that you have that you don't use and buy tools or buy a silage tarp or you know buy a broad fork like sell an old chair that nobody sits in and buy a broad fork I don't know there's so many ways uh, number six this is from this is from my old boss my like original mentor at landscaping still talk to him all the time he's a great guy but he worked very hard for 30 years to build his landscaping business and he told me like the first week there I think I was like digging trees for like eight hours it was like totally beat up like dude this sucks man like what am I doing going to school for this crap and he was like hey you have to realize it's a different dollar it's the same for this it's a different dollar Number seven stay away from debt as much as you can um, when we got into market market gardening and stuff at fall of 2017 we sold most of our possessions I had a landscape and tree business so I had equipment I sold just about all the all the equipment we sold our house um, that we worked hard to buy and worked very hard on to get it to where we wanted and lived in a camper like no running water for five months and we pooped in a bucket like this one for like almost a year it cost $21 per day to live in the camper that is and we did this for another it's called North Corner Haven in South Carolina we set this up we were like employees for them and learned a lot left them with good stuff and you know we just decided we just want to do our own thing because of the financial mindset and things like that uh, you know, not saying you have to do that but that's just what it is and like actually it wasn't really that bad it was kind of fun actually it was really fun and it was really cool and like to do that with Tori and go through all that stuff is just we you know we do we don't think anything bad about it it was like great to learn that stuff um, Number eight, have humility and understand that everything is your fault. I have no problem saying that I'm a jobless loser trying to start a market garden with my wife's money. I'm not afraid to say that because it's true. <laughs> and it's funny. It's something that we joke about all the time. Yeah, the humility, like, that's just living in the real world. Like, that's motivating. Like, mm, I want to, you know, work harder and do more things so that Tori can be back here working with me and we can do the things we want to do so I'm not gonna be like oh I'm urban farming starting a revolution uh, you know my 15 beds in production right now is gonna change the food system like that stuff doesn't motivate me because it's it's like out here it's not that practical to have that be a motivator because once that goes away uh, just my opinion um, Number nine, faking it till you make it will never work, ever. If you guys listen to Gary Vaynerchuk, he has the best stuff to say about that. I've seen that not work for people multiple times, and especially when you're working with nature. Uh, number 10 is, so that's the last one of the financial mindset, just things that we think about or the way we think about things all the time getting into this you know so these videos are for people that want to get into it so if this helps it helps um, education Tori has a master's in accounting I have a associates in uh, land like landscape design horticulture um, I really don't like school very much uh, we went to Curtis Stone's class at Ray Tyler's his profitable market gardening course totally worth the money that's what we did for our five-year anniversary and um, I'm in JM's master class which lasts for a lifetime totally worth all that's you like literally have to realize you're paying for that stuff but what you're getting is is so much more worth it um, so and then aside from doing stuff um, and reading so we always try and stay learning. I'm always reading stuff. I'm always, I message people on Instagram all the time about, you know, what they're doing. I, I, you know, certain stuff. I think 
just relative things that come up. I message people back, like trying to do that's the community trying to figure this stuff out. Um, always stay learning because you don't you want to be an expert or like you want to be a farmer and not a consumer so what I mean by that is you don't want to be someone that's like consistently going from this product to the next product from this salesman to the next salesman from this you know master class to this master class and like just like always following like you have to sit down and think about stuff that makes sense for your business and think about what's happening and do the work basically uh, you can't learn too much too so that's something to think about um, and just some books like can't, uh, You Can Farm by Joel Salatin Your Successful Farm Business by Joel Salatin Start Your Farm by Ellen Polishuk and Forrest Pritchard I'm reading that now that's like probably the most practical one I've read yet uh, well at least for because <clears throat> it's kind of kind of vegetable based for, through Ellen <coughs> um, the Jadam, 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 whatever, the orange book, orange book I put up in a recent video. That's got a pretty cool perspective. Um, of course, the Market Gardener, the Urban Farmer, Curtis Stone's book. Uh, yeah, guys, I always listen to podcasts. It just takes a lifetime to really know it. Uh, and I'll end this with. If any of this stuff makes sense to you guys, like how much does it cost you to live per day, or uh, trying to stay away from debt, it's a different dollar. Um, you know, very few people have no control over how they, how they spend their money. Having realistic goals and being frugal. If you guys want to see a video on how, because this is what Tori does, she takes like all like basically like our philosophies and stuff and like puts it in numbers then organizes it so I can ask her at any time like hey what are what's our cost per how much does it cost us to live per day like the past month or two months or whatever um, that's huge because that's like if you're thinking in a world of perspective and numbers because numbers are your biggest advantage and you know that like that gives you the best perspective I think I don't you know if you want to see how she does all that stuff, we can make videos about it. She uses Excel. She's extremely good at it. And we can try and figure out a way that she can teach you guys um, how to figure it out. I think that's important. Thanks for watching. Comment, thoughts, whatever. If you liked it, cool. Um, I can go into more detail on each thing that we do. Uh, and hopefully help somebody out or something like that so yeah it's a nice day and I'm gonna go do work instead of making these this video because it's nice out thanks guys